Hey, I'm Pete Deluski from Chase BMX, and we're at stop five and six of the 2019 UCI BMX World Cup Tour. And we're really excited Connor Fields is back on the tour. Connor, we're glad to see you. How are you feeling coming into this weekend's UCI BMX World Cup? I feel great, Pete. Um, I'm excited to be back. You know, it's been, this is my 11th year um, on the World Cup circuit. The first time I did a World Cup was 2008. So, I mean, I had no breaks in there. I was hitting them all every year. So, to even though I only missed two, it feels like I miss a lot. Um, but I'm refreshed and I'm excited to be back. And it's a great facility we have here. The racing in France is always a good time. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be here, excited to race. Yeah, the track here is a little bit different from last year, but just talk us through this track, what it's like, and you know, we've always heard how these European tracks are so technical, but give us your point of view of how the track rides here in St. Quentin. Yeah, I think this is a great track. It's like a, you know, a good balance of being technical and difficult, but not over the top. You know, it's not ridiculous. The first half of the track is pretty spread out. It's it's big jumps, and then when you round that second corner, there is a bunch of jumps in the third and fourth straightaway. It's tight. It's technical. Um, you know, so the first couple of straights, it's going to be about being powerful and strong, and the last couple of straights are all technical. So it's going to be fun. It's going to make for some good racing. As you said, coming in fresh, do you think that's going to give you advantage of the other riders, or do you think, you know? this is your first World Cup of the year, is that going to be any effect you think once you get on the gate? Uh, you know, to be honest, I've done like 35-ish World Cups, so it's, you know, I know exactly what to expect here. You know, physically I feel good and, you know, I can't do anything about the other riders. I'm just going to go and race and do my best and, you know, it'll be fun to, today to kind of see where I'm at, you know, and uh, I, as I don't know, so we'll, we'll, we'll find out soon. So it'll be really interesting to see Connor on track. He's going to join Joris out there once they get to start today's racing. We'll follow Connor and Joris throughout the weekend here at Stop 5 and 6 of the 2019 UCI BMX World Cup Tour. All right, Joris O'Day is now joining me. Joris, an exciting another round at the UCI BMX World Cup, but this time for us we're in Saint Quentin, France. Last year you won here, but just talk about the atmosphere, what it's like to race a World Cup in front of your home country. Yeah, it's amazing to be back here in, in Saint-Quentin and uh, be racing in front of the, uh, the French people. You know, it's always, always amazing to have, the, to have a race like this, a big race like this, and be able to perform in front of uh, my family, my friends, and everyone that, uh, that supports me all year long. So I'm, I'm very happy to be here. So when you're in the gate, like such as Papandal, they announce your name, and it's a little bit of cheers, but mostly silent. When we get here, they announce your name, when you're in that main event, and it goes crazy. How does that affect you, if at all, when you're getting ready for such a big race? Well, for sure, it's always uh, it's always better, you know, to have the, the people with you and uh, and being supportive like this. So uh, it has a little bit of pressure, but also more motivation, you know, to uh, to be able to perform. And, and when it's main event time, it's always a pleasure to be in front of them and uh, and try to do my best. So you're sitting second overall in this series and hopefully you can walk away this weekend with some good results to continue it. But how difficult is it to be consistent round after round on such difficult types of tracks racing the world's fastest racers? Yeah, it's super difficult to be consistent. You know, you can uh, you can win one day and then unfortunately you don't even make the main the other day. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's the number of people that can win a main event is, is huge now these days. So it's, uh, Consistency is a key to win the World Cup overall, and uh, and I'm trying to be uh, to be able to be in the main every time, and, and try to be consistent. So uh, try to stay in, uh, on the podium will be amazing this weekend, and uh, yeah, we'll do my best for that. So I know I'm really excited, and I know the French fans are going to be excited to see you get off and kick things off today here with Round Five of the UCI BMX World Cup. Good luck to you this weekend, Joris. Thanks, Pete. We will follow Joris and Connor throughout the weekend, and get back to you at the end of the weekend to give you their results and to follow up with them on how things went. French hero, Yoris Dode. Elite men finally is underway. He's going to get that all important hole shot into turn number one. Hole's dumped underneath. So the Dutch rider out front. Where is Yoris Dode? By Campo and Dade for the third. All right, we're here with Joris. So day, day one is over. Joris, third place in the main. Very impressive. I know you want more, but considering the way the thing started out, in that main event, I'm sure you're happy as well. So just talk us through today's main event. Yeah, it was a it was a good end of the day. Um, didn't feel too good today, but uh, you know you have some some days like this, and uh, yeah, getting getting third, it's uh, it's it's a good result uh, looking for the day. So uh, I'm happy with that. Kept dropping back, but Dodd hey, finding that extra speed. You know that that really is a testament to how much of a champion Dodd A is. Two days races would come back at it tomorrow. What do you think you need to do? differently to get to or first overall in the main event? 
What I need to be better out of the gate, you know, it's uh, it's very important here. Uh, the first trade goes a little bit uh, outside, so you need to be very uh, very good on the first trade. So uh, yeah, need to work on that tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, uh, my legs will be uh, will be back to normal, and uh, and I will I will be feeling uh, feeling good. So I'm looking forward for tomorrow to uh, to try to get on top of the box. Awesome, great job today, George. Congratulations on that third place. Thank you. The first of the French riders taking gate two. The Elite Men final is underway. Who's going to get that all-important hole shot? Here comes Dick Kimmon from the outside. Dick Kimmon finding his way to the front. We have a race going on down the last strand as Dade wants more. It's going to be Kimmon, Dade. All right, Joris, the end of the long World Cup weekend here in Saint Quentin, France. Third yesterday, second today, an incredible weekend. I know you wanted to win, but talk us through today's race because, again, it was fast-paced action out there on the track. Yeah, it was a good day for me. Uh, I felt better, much better today uh, out of the gate and on the track. Um, little mistake on the first jump in the main uh, and then uh, I tried to catch Nick but uh, he was fast uh, all weekend and I uh, couldn't do better than second. So a little disappointed because I was here to win but uh, overall a good weekend with a third place and a second place today. Yeah, anytime you can be disappointed with a second and third, we know you always want to win but still an incredible weekend. So just to sum up the whole weekend here, this World Cup always has the best atmosphere I think a lot of the riders say it's the best track. You know, how looking back at it now, it's all over. How did everything, you know, for you factor out for the weekend? Yeah, that was an amazing weekend. You know, with all the, the French fans and, and the track also, you know, it's a, I think it's one of the best tracks in the world. Very technical and a long first straight where you can, you know, put all the power down. And uh, yeah, amazing weekend, uh, amazing people. Uh, I think amazing organization as well. It looks very professional. So, uh, so yeah, it was, uh, it was a fantastic weekend. All right, well, that'll be a wrap here for the Chase BMX Pro Team, which today is just Joris. Yesterday, Connor crashed. His weekend was done. He tried to ride today. But an incredible weekend for Joris, second and third, second overall in the World Cup points. I'm Pete Dulewski from Chase BMX. We will see you soon as we go to the next stop, which is in the United States of America in Rock Hill, right after the World Championships. Hopefully, this guy's got a nice white jersey when we get there. See you at the next round, guys.